Hi, and welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Chaffee. Well, Bill Gates and company have offered up Windows 98 now, and most users are saying, show me the value. Is it only a fix or an upgrade, or is it really a new generation operating system? Bottom line, is it worth the 90 bucks? Here to attempt to persuade us is Kim Akers, a Windows 98 product manager for Microsoft. Welcome, Kim. Hi, good to be now, here. I want to do something with you I never let a guest do in this show. I want you to sell me. Pitch me, convince me and our viewers that it's worth upgrading to 98. Well, let's just take a look. Right All right, away. let's, let's do go it. right in. Well, one of the things you can do with Windows 98 is similar to the web. You can navigate on your hard drive using the backwards and forwards buttons, just like you would on the web. So it keeps track of where I've been, even in the desktop, and I can just go and forward. And you can use backwards and forwards right, as a way of navigating. Nice. The other thing is, as you can see here, you can real quickly get a preview of what you'd be opening up. So you don't actually have to try to remember what it is. You've saved your file name, right. not us. You can just quickly Saves see what time. it is. All right, you're two for two. Time. That's very good. Other thing you can do is directly from here. Let's say that I wanted to go out to the web. Let's just go out to ESPN here, see what happened last night. We'll right. check it out a little bit. I think there was some baseball activity yes. last night. And I'm real easy. I'm right out on the web. If I wanted to go back to my hard drive, I simply click the backwards button, and I'm right back on my hard drive. So no longer do you have to think about which application you want. You just go find the information. Right, so this is all the web integration stuff everybody's heard about. It doesn't matter whether the information is on your hard drive or up on some server in cyberspace somewhere. Same access. Exactly. Exact okay. same way of navigating. What else? Now, similar to how you use backwards and forwards on the web, links or hyperlinks is also something that's pretty helpful. So what we've done is we've redone help. Don't ever want to have to have help, <laughs> but in case but in you case do. something doesn't in work. In case you right. do, yeah. what you can see is that now it's very similar to the web. It's all hyperlink based. I can simply click. Let's say I don't know exactly uh -huh. what I'm looking for. I just click through until I find the topic. So it looks like you're on a web page. Wherever the cursor is, the thing turns blue. It says I'm a link. It gets underlined. Click on it. It takes you somewhere. Exactly. We've also built in some new troubleshooting wizards. So instead of having to call into product support, you can now you go ahead. You put on hold. Oh, we would never do that no, to no, you. Right? You can go ahead and answer a couple of quick questions. Here's the Microsoft and we'll, uh, we'll solve some problems for you. So let's say you're having trouble printing, you can say you can't print out your document, you're on a local printer, and it'll go ahead and provide you some suggestions. Okay. Now, if you're still having trouble and you want more information, you have the ability to go directly out to the web. So right here, we have this button called the Web Help. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and click on that, and it'll take me directly out to the Microsoft So it automatically knows the right place to go on your website so I can get an answer to my question. Exactly. So again, in lieu of calling on the phone. Exactly. And you can even send um, product support an email, okay. and they can answer your question. What else? Now, another new feature is something called Windows Update. This gives you one central location to get updates to your machine. So you get new updates to your operating system even after you walk into the store and you actually buy the product. We'll continue to sort of update that operating system. So I mean, that's automatic. If I go to the Windows Update section, it automatically logs onto the portion of your website that looks at my machine and says, hey, you don't have the latest driver or the latest thing. Exactly. So what we do is we take a look at what's on your machine, and we come back and we say, hey, based on what you have on your machine, we think that you might want to install this okay. security fix or this operating system. The forever system current update. operating system. Exactly. Last thing, one minute, USB support. Support. Let's know about Okay. That. Well, anybody who's ever tried to install a scanner will really, really, really appreciate USB okay. support. So I'm going to need your help here. I have a scanner right yep. here. This is a USB scanner. What I want you to do is plug it into the so back of my USB machine there. I'm just going to, while the machine's on, not, not Exactly. While the machine's okay. on, you'll notice you've plugged it in here, and it's going to go ahead and identify that you've plugged in a device, what that actual device is. It's loading all the appropriate mm -hmm. drivers. Now, you're not having to take apart your machine. You're not having to turn your machine off. Real, real easy to do. You can imagine. It doesn't say put in disk or find all that Nothing stuff. like that. And so now it's ready to go. So now really? all you need to do is put the picture in. And this is going to work. Hit the on button right there. It's going to bring up the imaging software. And I'm going to go ahead and say that we want to scan it in. And it's going to go ahead and automatically. You installed a scanner in 10 seconds. A couple of seconds.